everyone makes mistakes, right? My mother had me, after all, and your mother had you. We're all worthless and nothing means anything, which is probably why we take such pride in video games. Video games that help us get through the days, weeks and months, and until we get to make a new generation of mistakes. But these games sometimes slip up too, and we're not talking Assassin's Creed Unity's horrifying, bulging eye people, but daft little things that can slip through the net. I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 mistakes that developers accidentally left in your favorite video games. Number 10. Wait a minute. Let me do that one again. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. As featured in our voice acting fails list, this infamous cock-up sees a flubbed line accidentally included in Bethesda's RPG Behemoth. Thousands of lines eventually made it in successfully, albeit from what seems like one of three voice actors, but this still managed to sneak its way in. They heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Wait a minute, let me do that one again. I heard the thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. It's not just that there's a mess up there, it's that they've included the qualifier for wanting to do it again, and then the second attempt too. Incredible. Number 9. Headless CJ. GTA San Andreas. Oh Jesus Christ, what the f*** is that? Story time, kids. So in 2004's GTA San Andreas, there was local co-op, and if player two were to pick up a katana and, like a well-adjusted boy, attack the host player, decapitating CJ's head in the process, it would end the multiplayer session. Fair enough. But that wasn't the end of it, as poor old CJ would remain headless, with blood spurting endlessly from his new stumpy neck. It would remain like this, forever. Seriously, do not save if you do this. Patches weren't around, and no matter how buff, tattooed, or well-clothed your CJ was, he would, unfortunately, remain the most uncontrollable ketchup dispenser the world has ever seen. Number 8. The Rocket Jump. Quake. While it's gone on to appear in everything from Team Fortress 2 to 2016's Doom, rocket jumping in Quake was something the community only worked out through experimentation. The self-titled Quake engine was a very robust, momentum-based physics engine that fans quickly exploited, simply by firing at the floor. You see, turns out that the blast radius from any rocket would propel all objects, especially character models, away from the impact zone. Meaning if you blasted said missile straight at your feet, you'd get a fantastically effective boost skywards, provided you timed your jump right. Number 7. Slender Watson. Sherlock Holmes. Nemesis. Viewer beware. You're in for a scare, etc. So in this game you play as Sherlock Holmes, and in an effort to really nail the whole Holmes and Watson are inseparable, but in a totally hetero way, bro, as you move around, Watson will stick close by. However, instead of, oh, I don't know, animating him so he walks around after you, as soon as he's out of your field of vision, the terrifying bastard will teleport to a new location. It's actually utterly horrifying, like a mixture of Slender Man and those horrid weeping angels from Doctor Who. Ugh. Number 6. I feel asleep. Metal Gear. Localization issues are fun, aren't they? It doesn't happen so much nowadays, but back in the time of the MSX, translation errors between Japanese games and their eventual English releases have left a treasure trove of mistakes in many a classic title. Case in point, the original Metal Gear. As the archaic console couldn't handle the firefights that Kojima's mental brain wanted to conjure, you had to sneak past some guards instead. Cue the classic line, I feel asleep. That, uh, might mean he's assaulting people while they're sleeping, so, you know, keep, keep an eye on him. Number 5. The Out of Map Glitch. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I used to do this kind of thing all the time in COD 4, also known as the best COD game ever, and I will fight you if you disagree! In the mission Charlie Don't Surf, leaping from various objects allowed you to land on invisible walls, shimmy your way around to another area, and then leap to freedom, allowing you to experience bland floors, bland walls, and even bland docks. Oh, hang on, why is there a forklift out there? and barrels, and an ocean with waves. Considering nobody was ever meant to see this stuff, that either means it was a previously playable area that was cut out, or Infinity Ward really went above and beyond. Also, in the 2016 remake, there's a safety sign on the roof of a building you could previously fall through when attempting this glitch. Number 4. Bethesda forgetting to add physics to a paintbrush. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. 
Well, what do you know, it's Oblivion again! Besides the earlier voice acting muck-up, we've also got floating paintbrushes. Yes, these little beauties weren't going to be held back by anything as foolish as gravity, and so, when dropped, these arty f***ers will float in place, allowing the player to jump on top of them and build a staircase to heaven. Or, you know, just leap over the citadel wall into a bland, untextured courtyard. Worth it? Number three, this guy are sick. Final Fantasy VII. Another translation error now, and who could forget the compassion that the delicate ancient survivor Aerith showed to an unwell man in the Midgar slums in an early section of the game. This guy are sick, she says, a tear rolling down her cheek. What a lovely, compassionate woman. Hope nothing bad happens to her. But hang on, this guy is actually one of those weird Genova people that can be seen making his way back to Nibelheim near the end of the game, so technically, he kind of has two personalities. Perhaps it's less of a grammatical error and far more correct than we gave her credit for. What an insightful, clever person. I hope we can live long, happy lives together. Oh, fuck off, you silver haired bugger! Ugh. I suppose you could say he has a shit Odachi blade for whackers. Hashtag shit Odachi blade for whackers. Number two, I am error. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And here's another translation error. I am error, he yells at you. Aren't we all, mate? Link chuckles, inwardly despairing at the fruitlessness of his quest and life. Eventually cleared up to some extent, it turns out that this character's name actually was Error, but rumours still persist that he was supposed to be called Erol. Either way, who knows. The thing that annoyed me most is that they're clearly wasting space in that speech box. Error could definitely fit on that line with I am. I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Number one. Alan, please add details. Hitman Blood Money. A mistake so infamous that it spawned a meme, in Hitman Blood Money, if you examine a kitchen crate full of lobster, the description reads, Alan, please add details. It's not just hilarious because, whoops, they clearly forgot to do that, but also because they call him by his first name, Alan. Alan is just a funny name, like Jemima or Fenton. Since this error arose, they've actually paid tribute to it in Hitman Absolution, where the phrase, Alan, please add more details, appears if 47 scores 666 at a gun range. Plus, in the HD remake, it was further referenced with the phrase, any details yet, Alan. The internet has since concluded that our hero's full name may well be Alan Merrill, and we can only speculate what other things he's neglected to do. Alan. Alan, please tell them that's the end. Alan. Please tell them to comment below. Alan, please tell them to like, share and subscribe. Alan, please tell them to follow me on Twitter. Alan, please thank them for watching. Alan.